Hey guys, Miss Jager here, and welcome back to the front. In the last episode, we did a bunch of things. First of all, Edward Augustus and his mighty army was able to withstand a very, very heavy assault made by the Sicilian resistance. Uh, was able to, and he's also able to uh, hold them back and also withdraw. We had our own little Denmark oh shit scenario. Uh, in this, uh, we took extreme casualties, though luckily not losing a single unit. We had some real close calls, though. Uh, hopefully within a few turns we'll be able to redeem this. Um, I might get my command to uh, hide, uh, just so that way we can potentially avoid any poten uh, We can avoid any potential nightmares to that, so not so good. However, good news on the southern fronts is we have now got multiple armies making a move on the south fronts. We've got... Um, giant, a new army, well, a, a relatively new army, made by uh, John Thomas Jones. He's got two nine powder cannons, and he's making his way currently towards Athens, so that's going to be that one. Uh, Athens isn't really well guarded, like, it's got a couple of units. So once we've captured Athens, I'm hoping the resistance won't be too bad. They have converted to the, um, to the Russian faith, which is impressive. Just goes to show how long Ivan's been there for. Uh, to the somewhat south, Brent Spencer is going to make a move on Istanbul, and I'm hoping you can rename towns, but if not, I'm going to call that Constantinople afterwards, because that's a much better name than Istanbul, in my opinion. Uh, he's taken some moderate casualties. We have captured the Balkan and Belgrade. Uh, we did have a pretty epic battle over here against the Prussians, but we were able to wipe their asses clean, which is pretty awesome. We're also closing in on their last settlements. Uh, we've just got an army moving out from uh, Transylvania in the form of John Stratford Saunders. He's taken some casualties, um, but I kind of want to get the uh, assault going, knock out the Prussians completely, and all this stuff. And finally, the Duke of Old Bloody Wellington is going to be supporting the assault on uh, Transylvania, though I imagine he's probably not going to arrive to do much. Maybe just move in to reinforce, but eh, we might as well give it a go. Um, to the north, things have been going quite successful. We've been able to capture St. Petersburg and Novograd. Uh, but right now in the north, I'm going to hold fire for any assaults. Uh, we've got Ivan over here, and Edward, as a Rudolf's Bowdecker, has won a pretty effective victory against the Ivans, though unfortunately they have withdrawn, so it's, so far the war is going in our favour but Ivan is yet to counter-attack and there are a few open flanks, uh, my main my main, my largest concern at the moment is this position over here, we've got one, well we've got two stacks supported by enemy reinforcements from Warsaw, so I'm going to pull Rudolf's Bodecker back to try and shore up whatever kind of reaction force we've got and also, we've yet to see Ivan come down here, so I have no clue as to what's going on. I am redeeming this, though. Spy is en route. Speaking of which, why is Spy not over there? There we go. Okay, so we've got a full stack there. Six pounder, six pounder. I'm so glad you guys never invested in higher than quality cannon. You've got a shit ton of infantry to boot, but you have a very distinct cannon uh, disadvantage, which I am adoring right now. Seriously, just keep sucking when it comes to cannon. <laughs> I do not want another France. Oh, that sucks balls. Um, we've also got another army in the form of Alexander Campbell. Good name. Um, who's also currently making his way towards the front as well. Uh, though, as I said my, in the, my previous episode, in this point, I kind of want to hold a defensive front line. Uh, Ivan's making a move and has currently blocked off our navy in uh, the northern Baltic areas, but we've got a big fleet with a very pissed off admiral inside, so I have a feeling that's going to work out for us. Um, yeah, apart from that, though, things have been going kind of merry. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the turn and start the winter. Now, I have no idea what particular... Oh, I've oh Jerry's making a push, and I figured as much. I kind of figured as much. Hopefully, with the defeat of Budapest, oh, sorry, Burachest, um, we can eliminate those armies without having to run around grabbing them. They are going to be a bit of a nuisance, but oh, fuck off. No, oh, fuck a duck. Shit. That'd be kind, that's not really a good... Okay, so the Sicilians are shoring up their defenses back home. Not a bad idea. Ah, the Ottoman Navy. Uh, oh, wow. 
Yeah, yeah, no. Fall back. You moron! The fleet is lost. You f Maybe they were limited on maneuvering points, I don't know. Well, how much money have we lost? Okay, we've lost a lot of money, uh, but we haven't lost a lot. If you have a look, we can still fight. This is, for the first time, I can go, that's not so bad. You see what I mean? Like, trade has been pretty much my most important thing, but we are going to assault that navy in a second. Um, we haven't up too much, unfortunately. I hate it when they do that. So I'm very limited in what I can do with this turn. But that said, we've got some... Well, the docks at Chatham are nice. Uh, yes, that's fine. Uh, enemy raid is over there. Minimal damage. Recruitment reports. Siberia and the Balkans keeping the population happy. That's true. Okay, so what areas can be hit by a... Oh, okay, this is an area of attrition. This is an area of attrition. Okay, so all throughout here... We can't move because I don't want to do anything uh, unruly. Um, luckily, Warsaw is not a place of attrition. This is good news. Uh, Bodecker can pull back now because he needs to get back and set up a... Actually, what I'll do is I'll get him to set up on the defensive line at the bridge. Bridge. There we go. Right, so I've nudged that in. You, oh god, we need you to increase your thing. He's not got a bad replenishment rate. Uh, Bearsford can hold. Ooh, that's going to be a lot of stacks, though. Can I send any reinforcements? Bollocks, I can't. Really, the closest person to him was Rudolf's Bodecker. Uh, how many turns is it going to take you? Oh god, two. Oh, I think it probably is best. I think Bodecker can with withstand this assault over there. I'll send... Uh, what are you? You are... Oh, you know what I'm going to send. Who are you? What, what have you got? Well, everyone else... I think the only units you really need to worry about... You're not damage, damage. You're just take A few of your units have suffered some heavy casualties, for sure. But not to the same level as a fear of thing. Um, okay, I'm thinking Bodecker and uh, Alexander Campbell can take care of the southern front at Bres um, Breslau. And Danzig can be watched over by... Um, Michael Stowell, who's the ge who's general, who's so such a badass, his stars outrank his portrait. That's awesome. I can just imagine a conversation he has with an uh, understudy or a younger officer. He's like, "Do you realize how amazing I am? I've got so many stars on this bloody uniform. I even outrank the servers." What? What, sir? Doesn't matter. Just do what I say. Right. So in a couple of turns. Mr. John Thomas Jones will be able to assault Athens with a very tiny garrison. If we're lucky, we may just force them force them to surrender, which would be nice because then all I have to worry about is just making sure the population doesn't rebel. Uh, Prussia is doing its best to be a nuisance, but at the same time, they're not... How are we doing on garrison? Uh, oh. Please tell me you can find them in the forest somewhere. Orders. It's a shame that agents can't detect them in the same form. I can't really risk sending John Stratford. I'm going to go bait and ambush. Come on, bad guys. You know you want to. Right, let's stick by the base in case they go for it. Because Klausberg does not look like they can do anything. And I don't really want to have to. Okay. There's only a few units there. And they're just going to commence raiding operations. Um, okay, I think we're going to have to divert Alexander, oh sorry, Brent Spencer to attack Burachest in order to deal with the Prussians, because they're going to be a royal pain in the ass. Um, I think, yeah, I mean, it wouldn't be too much of a problem, and it is one less uh, Prussian army to worry about, so, yeah, I think that's fair enough. It's only three units versus that. Uh, oh, God, yeah, we are fine. I don't like the fact that we lost nearly a thousand guys doing it, mind. But the good news about this particular province is that we've got such amazing replenishment that it will be negligible. What's better? That way? Uh, you know what? That's better. Make your way towards um, Brent Spencer. So in the next turn, you'll be able to find and... 
gain reinforcements. What are you? Infrastructure. Oh, uh, that's actually a good point. We need to in introduce better infrastructure to the roads because then our replenishment is better. You. Oh, God. You. Um, I'm going to upgrade the roads. I mean, it's not a good... I'm not going to upgrade any other particular camps. Um, I'm not going to bother about that because Ivan's right next to it. Speaking of which, Ivan is making the counterattack. I had feared. Uh, who are these guys? Russian... Uh, <laughs> I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that. You, um, I'm going to make into a merchant house because that's very good. Right, okay. Now to the naval front. Um, I'm going to attack you. How many ships is there? Three. Yeah, he is not going to get away with that. That's for nullifying my trade. And to be honest with you, it could have been worse. He could have attacked with the port, but luckily there's a garrison up there. The dumb bastard decides he wants to fight. Um, I think I'm, I'm quite chill with that. Wait, what did I lose? Actually, okay, no. I don't like that. Oh, god damn it. What did I lose? I lost a ship loot fighting that. That's not a cheap thing. I really should not... Oh, really? God damn it. How much money are we going to make now? 25k. Uh, what did I lose? I didn't really pay attention. I lose... Okay, I'm not seeing a 122mm gunship. Do you not tell me I've lost a 122 gunship? Seriously, game. Do not tell me a 122 gunship. Right, let's fix you guys up because then you can be used as trading seriously did i seriously lose a 122 gunship i think i did right well that sucks um well, we've got a couple of hundred and six on the way uh, stupid how much is this going to cost? Okay, so it's not going to be that much. Ivan's not going to be able to do anything for the time being. How much money could we get from trading? Uh, we're at war with the Swedes, so we're going to have to be careful about that fleet over there. Uh, I'm seeing not much in the sense of what they've got, but at the same time, we're going to have to position ourselves. Uh, we're not at war with Denmark. This is kind of good, because we don't have to worry about them. Okay, I think we're all good for the moment. Um... I think on the northern front, we're going to have to just hold operations for a while. Um, oh, God. So, pretty much, it's all going to be... It's all kicking off down here. For the duration of winter, I'm just going to focus on fighting down here. Because then we can then slowly push our way further upwards. Uh, with the perhaps exceptions of Königsberg and Warsaw. But Ivan's defending both of those territories with r relatively high vigor. So, I think it's only fair that we kind of... Receive... Uh, to defeat Deal with the same vigor as before. After this turn, I'll also see about sending Edward Augustus back towards Sicily to try and uh, take the town again. Luckily, this time, I don't think it's going to be as much of an issue. Oh, I forgot about that fleet. <laughs> Oop, there. Another mission. Okay. Oh, hello. So, Prussia is making a move, but... Okay, Ivan's making a move as well. That's a lot of money. Money. A stacks. Oh, dear God. Okay, I'll happily take a raid. Oh, hello, random stack. Ooh. Hello, Sweden. Ooh. Hello, Sweden. Ooh. Hello, S Oh, come on. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, they're suffering from attrition, which is great. But... Oh, bugger off, Ottomans. Oh, and they're really good ones. As oh, no, that's my one. Uh... Cardiff. Oh, Hannibal. Right, can you pull out? Can you... Will you stop putting yourself into a fucking corner, you moronic numbskulls? They've got all of this ocean to your left, and yet you decide to fucking die. Idiots. I mean... Uh, I am so renaming Constantinople, Constantinople. Moronic twats. Uh, subterfuge. Yeah, good job. Right, I am going to try and fix that as best as I can. 
Okay, so Ivan is closing in on Danzig, which is not good. But reinforcements are just around the corner. In fact, Michael Stowell can make a move on that. So we could do something pretty awesome. Aha! An ironclad. Our first ever ironclad. This is going to be very useful for when it comes to dealing with crap. Um, in a couple turns, I'm going to send this particular fleet to make sure that um, the Turks get punished for what they do. Speaking of which... Hey, Turkey, how's that fleet coming along? I'll engage you in a second. Right, first of all, you are making your way towards them. You are making your way towards Burachest. Now, there's probably a big, large army over there. Yeah, there's there's a pretty large garrison. So, oh, we, we need to improve the infrastructure, that's for sure. Begin siege. Oh, it's being defended by Blücher. But we have the cannon and infantry advantage, so that's fine. Uh, Court of Appeals. Oh, good. We've set him up over there. And we've set up a factory, which is going to provide good replenishment. Ah. Yeah, about that. I'm going to move him back over to this location to set him up in a defensive stance. Nothing we can do about it. It's just that's how it's going to be. Okay. Uh, you. Have you fixed? Yes, you have been fixed. Good. Uh, how much money are you making off that? Jesus, that is not worth anything. Right. Okay, you are to re you are to link up with the big boys, and I want all of you to make your way towards um, make your way back up towards the front lines. So that way, how much money would you make there? Uh, make your way over there. How much would you make? Uh, that's not bad. It's not great. Russia's not getting any, tra not getting much of any trade, but I'll nick that. Ba Boom! You also get a little bit of a sneak peek. They also have a fort, and they have twelve pounders. Lots and lots of twelve pounders. We've got another France. Okay, so Ivan's up to the north, doing what he does best, being a pain in my ass. You are about to assault. The town of Athens, which does actually have a general. So, unfortunately, I cannot attack until that happens. So, you're doing that. Thomas Cochrane, you're doing a good job, my friend. Uh, reinforcements. You know what? Reinforcements to the north would actually be a good idea as well. Um, how many dudes does... Uh, Okay. I'm going to transfer one of the stronger regiments into... Forward! Forward! There we go. And I am going to recruit... Well, the populace isn't too happy. I'm hoping that this... Um... Oh. I forgot about that. Okay. You're going to be assaulting that. We're going to be dealing with this. Um, because we're assaulting the Prussians this turn, uh, oh shit, it's going to be a problem, attrition, ba uh, bugger, that's not good. Yes, Will he be out of the attrition by the end of this turn? I don't know, I'm going to move him there, and then, so he's still relatively close to the town. You are almost not in position, but that's fine, I'm going to send Duke of Wellington uh, to move into the town once you've taken care of that. Uh, then I think we're almost there. You're defending the bridge. You're watching the town. Hmm. We're a little bit closer to the front lines. Okay, tell you what. I'm going to roll you up to that point. And I'm going to position you at the same location. Anything more? Now, you're effectively going to guard the point. You are not. Oh, I'll have that. That's going to be useful. Okay, so we're going to have a few battles ahead of us. And I have a feeling we're probably not going to be able to have them all in this episode, but we'll try. First of all, let's knock the Prussians out of the war. So, let's make the push. And get revenge. And attack these Germans for the last time in our campaign. The last, last stand of the German forces. They have suffered a lot throughout the war. 
they sided with the French, which was a very bad idea. And they got their asses handed to them, not just by us, but also by the Austrians and the Russians and even the Ottomans. And now we move to deliver the killing blow that will eliminate them from this war and also remove a very frustrating pest. And of course, von Blücher is going to be facing the best general. I actually don't know. Not the best, because that's Michael Stowell. Bre Though Brent Spencer has definitely done a lot for us in our campaign so far. We have done... He has defended and won many great battles. Um, I think he was a replacement general. For a replacement general, if I'm not mistaken. Um, okay, so they have no cannons whatsoever, which is good. It's a cannon. So I can just set my guns up accordingly, which is very nice. I am liking this ability a lot. I'm not going to put you in front of a tree, because that would be silly. I'm going to put you right by a tree. Jaeger infantry, I want you to set up along this road line here. Infantry, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm going to set you guys up here, and the rest of my infantry to the left. Uh, I'm going to actually use my light infantry as regular guys now because the difference in range between these guys and Jaeger infantry, and of course they would be an integral part, while they are longer and they are much smaller in size, there's the size, of, there's the range of the light foot infantry, and there's the difference between the two. Now they are better than, than normal infantry, but eh, I, mm, yeah, I, I, I'm just going to stick with what I got. And besides, the, the, what am I, Brunswick Sharpshooters, they're even better because they're Brunswick Sharpshooters, so, you, you know, the perks. Right, let's get my British Dutch Light Dragoons, who are, ironically, I should have probably just gone with British uh, Light Dragoons because they're better. But because these guys are ranked, they're probably, in some theory, better. Okay, so the cannons are going to be setting up there. Blucher's in the distance. Uh, do you have shots on him? Nope, they're not even in range. Okay, that's good. Gives us an opportunity to move these guys up and set up accordingly. Okay, so you guys have taken some level of casualties, but it's not as bad. You also look incredibly badass, by the way. Just want to add that out there. And it looks like the percussion cap thing doesn't work in this. Or is it? No, it looks like you're still using flintlocks. Yeah, it looks like they're using flintlocks. Sounds silly, but... Uh, it's not that silly. I mean, it, I think... It, if memory serves correctly... Uh, this formulation I'm not exactly liking. It's a little bit disjointed. I'm gonna... Okay, well, I'm gonna set up the accordingly here. And then you guys can spread out a little bit more effectively. Because you're not having to crunk so much. Right, you, I'm going to set up on the left-hand side. Uh, if you can, sneak to the left here. Have they got tank traps set up? Um, no. It doesn't look like they've got tank traps set up, so we may just be in luck. Oh, no, they have tank traps. Shit. And these guys are having a rave. <laughs> They're like, we have lost the war, so we might as well dance like we have never danced before. Blue rave. <laughs> and now I want someone to Photoshop Blue uh, Gebhard von Blue in a rave with just the text Blue rave. <laughs> oh my god, that would be amazing. <laughs> I am incredibly sad, I realise this. I uh, will set up spike strips for them, just so that way it stops them from... In it I mean, I real What the Christ? My Brunswick sharpshooters did not put levitation and hovering in their... Uh, Jesus Christ. I swear the doctor is here. Oh, that is nice. I am really liking this setup. Yes, sir. I'm liking how that works. That's actually pretty freaking awesome. And they set up behind them as well, which is nice. Skirmishers. I might be a cheeky scrub lord and set up like that. Oh, really? You would, wouldn't you? Yes, 
There's a little bit of a gap, unfortunately, but that's fine. Uh, the enemy are not attacking. I have cannon. Surely that would make sense for them to push. That said, they're probably just waiting to set up their formation. They have to attack. I've got cannon. Like, I know I'm attacking them, but they haven't got cannon. They have to attack me. I'll wait for their infantry to set up a little bit before we make the push. My guys are already... My guys are already in the position. They've actually got a pretty nice... Um, Range-wise, they've actually got a pretty good position to shoot from. Because, like, as soon as those guys crest the ridge, almost, um, they'll be able to get free shots down onto them, which is pretty useful. Really? You're going to take all that time to set your dudes up? Let's have a look at their German weapons and stuff. So these guys are armed citizenry, which is kind of cool. I mean, I love the German um, hats. Uh, this particular hat here. To be honest with you, that doesn't really change at all. <laughs> I just really, I just looking at that, that just looks awesome. Um, what other German units do they have? This is just the standard M Prussian musketeers, which are not too bad. The uniform is kind of simple in comparison to my British line infantry. My guys look, have what much more swag than uh, their guys do. Oh, really? They're gonna make me move? You Jerry bastards! Yes. Are you going to make me move? Yes. No. Oh, no. They're moving. Right. It was just to set up the formation. It's fine. For some reason, they had to set up in a formation. And then they go out of formation just as quickly. This is silly. Come on now. Right. We're about to the tank traps located then. Well, they're in the town, but I don't see any other. So I might use this as an opportunity. Ah, good. Well, these my cavalry isn't completely hidden, but I can at least utilize this opportunity to... I'm going to nick some... I'm going to try and see if I can roll my guys into position to attack those two um, units. I might focus the armed sinistry because um, those guys can go into a square, whereas those guys can't. But then again, that musketeer unit is pretty... Yeah, we'll see how it goes. I might have a go at them. Ah, cannons are already on things, so... Glorious victories, huh? It's soon go, 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 go. They've spotted themselves. Boom. Rally up. Right, I want both of you guys to set up. You know what? I'd, I'm going to set you guys up slightly ahead of the spike wall. Because then that way you can do some... And you're right there. Okay. You're about to get shots off. But you can't. You got hit. Ah. Last minute volley. So one of our guys has just bit the dust in that. Only thing about fighting in a town I really don't like is... Oh, crap, they got... Like, we can kill them, and I know we're going to win this one, but unfortunately the enemy are just going to have such an advantage, because normally cavalry can just move in to swamp them. Uh, you, I'm going to tell you to focus fire on them. Because Musketeer's Garrison is nice, but it isn't as awesome. Come on. I'm losing way more guys than I should. God forsaken building. Right. You get out of the combat because it just makes it worse. You double into it, but you guys... There we go. It's going to be a slightly tricksy thing to do. I'm going to have to ask you to set you up right in front of the front lines. You guys, how are you doing? You're almost in range. Good to see. Right, once you get into position... Get in, get in, get in, get in. You are going to kick their asses in combat, but what you really don't need to do is allow them to get free shots. How are you guys faring? You're about to make the fire, aren't you? Yeah, check it out. Just as those guys are cresting the ridge, those guys are going to get it. How many guys dropped? From 360 to 32 is not bad. 292 from 360 is not bad. Okay, there's Zerg rushing. Okay, first line. Fix and withdraw. They're losing, they're losing. It's two units effectively eliminated without having to 
Right, you lads, I'm going to move up to cover the retreat of those guys. <sighs> Idiots. I tell them, run, you're under fire. What do they do? Oh, we'll go for a casual stroll. I want you guys to form up on the road to deal with whatever kind of counterattack the Jerry's will send us. I want you guys to form in the clutch of that. Oh, those guys are taking a beating. Right, I'm going to pull you guys out as soon as I get the opportunity to. might do. Oh, you're joking. Bluka just made that mistake. I think he did. Oh, no. We have a specialized cavalry unit. But that said, the good news is they just lost like 90% of their unit. I am glad I put those spikes out there on the front. We got a, Our center line is not very strong, I'll be honest with you. Not exactly thrilled about that. Ah, good. We've killed off that unit, and they're now routing. Right. You guys form up on the left. They're dealing with them. They are, I think... We're winning decisively, so this might work in our favor, but you can never really know. You guys form up a little bit closer to them. And now the main clutch of battle commences. You, I want you to concentrate fire on that armed citizenry, because 500 guns is not a good thing. Right, you lot, engage them. Who's, the who's, who's currently assaulting? Okay, so they're taking that. Looks like these guys are about to do the right. Unless they're not. Brunswick versus... It sounds really pathetic, but I just love doing seeing volleys of line of line infantry fighting like that. Okay, Luca is going to cause is going to give them very good levels of morale. So I want to try and make sure that when these bastards go, they are going to go. Not to say that my guys can't fight, but in comparison, right? Concentrate fire on that box over there. Right there, yeah, they can as well. Doing that, you're doing that. So far, we're actually doing pretty nicely. Bro Black Brunswick's. Oh my god! Oh wait, no, no, no. sorry. I thought for a second it was my line infantry. As I like. The good news is all of my guys in the middle are fighting. Oh, I'm not liking this. Right, I'm gonna pull you guys out. I'm gonna have to pull you guys to make a bit of a harsh move. I am sorry. I have to extend the line a little bit to try and make say. Oh shit. Okay, we're gonna have to just. You are gonna have to roll up over to that location. You target the enemy general. Arm citizenry, so that's okay. Um, I wouldn't say it's worth anything. You're probably going to live through that as well. Uh, you guys shoot at the uh, no ceasefire. You guys concentrate on them. Actually, yeah, just completely ceasefire. Don't even bother. You've done your bit. Nicely done. Okay, I'm going to fold you guys in on the left flank to try and deal with that. You lot, I want you to focus on. Okay, so Blue is gone. Almost. Be nice to kill him. Okay, you guys, concentrate fire on them. Oh, it's a pound. Okay, on the left side, it's looking pretty bad. Um, might get you to join the melee for them. You move up. You lads. Withdraw. Where's Bluka? Where is Bluka? Oh, there he is. Boink. 
Hey, what are you doing? Unnecessary charges. Not really nice. Not liking that at all. Right, you lot. Reform along here. You're probably not going to get many good shots because you'll be jumping into that ditch, but I don't care. Not having you guys get screwed over. Right, those guys are mostly routed. We've got a little contingent of infantry back here, but once they go, bat battle's ours. Sir! Oh. Sir! Our general is under attack! I'll be fine. Inspired! Okay, we've taken some heavy casualties on the 42nd, unfortunately. A little bit saddened by that. Oh, we did not fare too well today. How are we doing with the pursuit of Luca? Yes, there we go. Luca is gone. For the last time, he breathed his last breath before being cut down by a British... Ironically, being cut down by German... Um, slight... Oh, yeah, start again. Before being cut down by a Dutch dragoon. His last words were, For my nation, for the Reich. I mean, for the fatherland. What's something along those lines? It doesn't really matter. History has an off has often got moments of confusion. Speaking of confusion, where, why? Right, they're there, but I can't attack them because actually, you know what? I can. Right, you lot, maneuver into position to. Right. Those guys are gone. Those guys are gone. Those guys need to be destroyed. Those guys are about to be destroyed. I'm curious to see how many shots these guys will take. You have a barrage left. Oh, you do. Have fun. I admire their bravery, but the problem is when you form a box square, when you know the enemy has cannons that are aiming at you, this is what's going to happen. He's going to fire. I said he's going to fire... Seriously, you were firing at the wrong bloody target. Yep, there we go. He's going to fire. And he completely misses the shot. You're the most hopeless unit with a bunch of guns. Really? You're going to make me watch you? There we go. Oh, now you decide to be accurate. Well... G fucking G. Yep, you routed. It's technical. Right, so that's them taken care of. Okay, that's the last of the Jerry's. We lost a little bit more than I, be honest with you, would be happy with. Oh my god, really? Wow, they really don't care if I'm in the town or not. I will happily have this. What are you? Ooh, I will have a factory. Huh. Sounds awesome. And a great estates alongside. That'll be good. Uh... Alas, Prussia is no more. Well, that's another faction, unfortunately, no longer... Well, that's a faction we no longer have to worry about, which is one benefit. The downside is, of course, the whole... Them... Um, yeah, shit, we have to be over there. Damn it. Your the good news is now I can actually build this lumber mill and also help construct this factory in relative peace as... Okay, you're going to head over to Kamen's Proznitsky, and I'm going to have you watch uh, Modolva. I'll focus on Modolva, so Kramnitz Politsky is... Okay, so the biggest problem when it comes to campaigning here is, well, north, basically. They're, they're going to... And also super north from the, these, the Swedes. I'd be honest with you, I'm honestly surprised at how much... Um, oh, bugger hell. At... Oh, God. Wait, does that mean they've been walking their armies all this way? 
I mean, it looks like they've got metal roads, which means they've had some benefits to it, but still, holy crap. I'm curious. I haven't got any spies up north to be able to discern how many casualties they've taken, but hell, if they're going to take this level of damage before they even assault me, then this is going to be this is going to be lovely. Though three armies, I'm half tempted to try and um, send some kind of reinforcements, but with my guys inside the towns, it's going to be a bit of a tr tricky situation. I can't even recruit any infantry. It's because of all the. So basically, Sir John, uh, this James Inglis Hamilton is either going to die very soon, or he's going to basically be the most pro of pro. Um, I am going to recruit some more line infantry, though, because we've got one line infantry slot for him. It's going to be awkward, but nothing we can do about it. Okay, next battle. Um, we've got an Ivan force over here. We've got, like, 20 minutes left. So, actually, before we do anything, let's finish off... Let, let's finish the, uh, the Ottomans and gain some revenge for attacking. Are you going to attack? Ooh, you will stand. And these guys are actually veteran as well. Um, so, the likelihood of them actually standing and fighting. And we got some reinforcements in that, which is not bad. I mean, we're going to win this one without a shadow of a doubt. And this will make um, fighting against the Ottomans a lot nicer. Oh, lovely. Okay. Well, we can at least deploy the whole of them. Yeah, make it tough. This is going to cause problems for setting the enemy on fire. Oh. Sorry, I've been watching some Shogun um, Tepu Republic uh, narrative Let's Play recently. So seeing this, <laughs> and I'm just like, oh! It's... <laughs> Wet powder makes crisp fires a certainty. Right, I'm gonna move you slightly. I'm gonna cross this bastard's T. You guys are gonna be there. I want the 122. Oh, we do have. Oh, we didn't lose our 122s. It's just the 122s. Okay, I'm gonna put you to the side. You two as well to the side. Um. God. Freaking monstrosities that are right next to us. Uh, mm, that's the thing I don't want to do, game. No. That, no. Uh, what are you? You're another 122, so I'm going to do the same. So I'm going to have two 122s pretty much crossing their T's. So they got two. We got four units of 122s. Then I want the um, I want the 80 gun ship focusing as well. We're basically going to create a cone of fire. Uh, then I want the 48 Razi on over here to try and set up and do some more damage. Um, I want the Steam Paddler to move up and be like more of a supportive role than anything. But I will not detest the, detract the fact that he actually has been pretty damn useful as of late. Okay, the moment you two guys... I don't want to have fire at will. I want you to concentrate fire as soon as you get the opportunity. Boom. I want you to focus your fire. Oh, God. I'm going to slow things down a bit. So, unfortunately we didn't get to see all of it. But basically a whole barrage just impacted onto the front of that. Oh, we are going to see... Oh yeah, look, look at that. Look at that. All those barrages on them. Look at, look at the shell impacts. They're about to hit that... In that uh, 64 Barahi? That is going to be nasty. Unfortunately, we're not going to be too super effective with the things, so hopefully... Yes, are you going to shoot? Oh, you're not in range yet. Really? I kind of figured you'd be in range by now. Oh well. Okay, never mind. Focus on that madami. This is not the kind of weather you want to be fighting in. 
Alright, let's try and slow things. Oh, let's speed things up. And also, he's facing our... Oh, come on. Fire! Really? Okay, so you were in range, but you decided... Oh, that's a good spread. He's on fire as well. Wow! Instantaneous surrender. That's incredible. And the fire has already been put out. And they're just like, alright, as quick as you can, jump off the ship. Oh wow, that guy almost hit the freaking deck. You're really wanting to jump off your butt. Oh, is it sinking? Normally they don't jump off if it's sinking. It's on fire though, so... Maybe that's why. Maybe we shouldn't get so close. Okay, so apparently you can't use... Again, the Steam Paddle Frigate, for some reason, doesn't... Yeah, I'm going to call... You know what? Renown is a very good name for that ship. Because the amount of times they've... Um... The amount of times they've been... I've said, oh, I'm not going to put this ship here. It's not going to be very useful to me, X, Y, Z. And then all of a sudden, it always seems to be at the precipice of heavy battles. Seriously, game. Oh, that's so cool. I mean, I realize any of you are officially dev... Oh, God! That ship is going to go any second. Go, 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 go. That was a very nasty boom boom. Right, she's just been hit with that. She don't think she's on fire, but bang! There goes a Turkish ship. And that's why they didn't let... <laughs> and that's why we... Uh... Right, I'm going to swing around and hopefully we can steer her into the fire. Boy, I... I don't think they've been able to get a barrage off effectively. Oh, get ready to fire. Oh, I think we got two hits. Yes, two good hits. Unfortunately, nothing that will set them on fire, but two good hits. Much left to those guys. Oh, wow. Now, for any of you wondering why that's happening, it's because the guns are constantly sending my guys on a twitch, so. Right. Razi, make your way that way. No, you. That way. That way. Turn your guns that way. Oh, we got another shot inbound by my Raketenwerfer. Again, we're not really doing any real damage to them. We're just kind of... Almost there. Okay, looks like we're about to attack. Another shot inbound by my... Raketenwerfer. Nothing really happening. Mainly because they're not really... Um, my Raketenwerfer aren't hitting the sails. As soon as the enemy have their sails to us, then that's when it becomes a pretty epic... Uh, I'll tell these guys to cease fire because... Stop. I want that ship, and I want to sound... I want that ship. It's a good ship, and I think it's only fair that we nick it from them. You're almost about to sink, to be honest with you. Come on. Come on. Come on! You want to sink and you know it. Douche! Surrender, come on. You are so listing to hard port. That's right, you are so listing to starboard. Cross that guy's T. I will say, this is the true man, uh, maneuverability. This is the true... Uh, bleh, the true advantage of having a steam paddle is this. 
you know, doesn't you don't have to have the wind now in order to win wars. You just need to have uh, the engine power. Boom. I think we might have won that one. We might not have. I don't know. Well, then, oh, okay, so we didn't capture them. They both sank. Okay. And gone. Fleet ready. Okay, that's pretty good. We got rid of them, which is nice. Um, do they have a navy still? They do kind of still have a navy. All right, we'll tell you what. Actually, to be honest with you, with the, um, the capture of this place, I might get... I guess we can't. Uh, how many turns would it take you to get there? Probably fewer turns than that. Okay. Uh, hmm. Trying to think. How are you doing? You still need like one or two turns. Um, you can't attack just yet. Not till next turn. Um, I think I'm going to wrap things up now because I know for a fact the next couple of episodes is going to be us fighting these guys. So, tune in next time, guys. We're going to basically fight these Russians over here, uh, taking care of these guys. We're also going to be having to deal with that massive amount of Swedish forces over there, which is not going to be good. Uh, hopefully, pretty soon, in the next turn, we'll be able to... With I mean, that was a pretty heavy attack, but we'll hopefully what we'll be able to do is launch... Oh, God. Oh, okay. Yeah, Brent Spencer's going to need... Oh, actually, we could send the Duke of Wellington. Uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll, do, we'll figure something out. But one thing we are going to be doing is we are going to be attacking Constantinople and capturing it. Because, god damn, I need to capture that. You need to be making your way over there. Your uh, can I sabotage anything? Further orders. That would be handy. Sabotage. There's no real reason to sabotage the buildings in this place, but getting information How on that. Be of service? Yep, oh, really? The referent did well. Whoops. <laughs> I just your killed majesty. the priest. Anyway, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. Um, let's see, is there a dock? Oh, there is a dock, but it's not mine yet. So, yes, we'll basically be duking it out. We've got that battle to win, and we've also got that battle in the north to win there. So, I will catch you guys next time. This is Miss Jaeger, signing out.